Uh, I think it's these characters. I think that um, people uh, just love these characters and they see themselves in them somehow. And uh, they, they just want to know what's next for these guys and, and what's, you know, how, where are we going to go with number four? You know, that was the big question. And I'm, I'm glad that people came into the, the audiences, came for wondering what was going to happen. Well, the heart for, for me is uh, the relationship between Woody and Bo is something that uh, the whole movie is built upon that. And Woody had to go through something major in order to see Bo's point of view. So I kind of, I look at the relationship I have with my wife and how she's affected my life. And, and that's kind of what I brought forward just to kind of, for, to uh, how I approach the two of them. I also, the Woody and Buzz relationship is, is pretty amazing and, and this kind of bookends, you know, Woody, Woody and Buzz coming together at the beginning of the first film, saying goodbye to each other in this one. It's, it's really powerful. I know that hit me really hard every time I watched that final scene. You know, they've become such tight, close friends. They've been through so much together over all the films, even facing fire. And, and so to see uh, Buzz kind of give permission to Woody to do what's right for him is, is pretty impactful. He's a great character for that reason that he can, um, he doesn't understand any of the other, he doesn't understand what's happening at all. So he's never even seen Toy Story 1 through 3, doesn't understand the rules of the world. And so that's, it's always fun to have a character like that that can voice um, just bizarre opinions and just takes things as the, the way they're presented and then also can just not understand anything that the audience already gets and so there's it's already just built in for, uh, comedy right there and he's also just, just really sweet and, and innocent. I mean we were fortunate enough to have some of the original uh, members of the Toy Story crew and Andrew Stanton and Pete Docter and Lee Unkridge they, they've kind of helped carry the through line and make sure that, you know, we are being true to who those characters are. So that helps, but there's also a lot of freedom given to new directors like Josh coming in to really put their stamp on it and, and, and kind of make it their own in a, in a way as well. Yeah, I think if you, if you look at the Toy Story films specifically, they are the kind of the phases of, of being a parent. So, um, you know, the, the, the end of three is kind of saying goodbye to your kid, and then with four we approach that like almost like an um, empty nest story. It's like now that Woody has said goodbye to Andy, he's kind of like, well, what do I do now? What's, you know, and so, uh, and a lot of the directors at Pixar ha have gone through that, and a lot of the people at Pixar have now have kids that are in college or have left college, left home. So we, we look upon our own stories to kind of t to tell these stories as well, in all the Pixar films.